Hello, welcome to this video. I'm here today with Christopher Cavallio. Hiya. And we'll talk about collaborating, and the power of collaboration, how to collaborate, how to network. So, first of all, we should probably talk about why you should collaborate, or why you would collaborate. What's like the motivation for collaborating? There's a few different reasons, really. One is you can bounce ideas off of the people. You've got someone that might have a certain area of expertise. Uh, that you haven't got the same level and they, you might have a certain expertise to help them as well. So it's kind of a win-win situation. So kind of filling each other's gaps. Yeah, yeah. So for example, if me and you did the project together, I might be better at writing the music, you might be better at mixing the music. If you made an album together, yeah. it could be a much better, higher quality album than if we did it independently. Sure, sure. Any other reasons top of your head? For fun. For fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's always yep. better you, to do if it If you're on your people. laptop all day, Every day you can go a little bit crazy. Yeah. Uh, if you're surrounded by people who are like-minded, a lot more energy, a lot more fun, rather than being stuck in the uh, dreaded laptop world. Yeah, because um, these days, yeah, with music production, especially if you're like doing it all by yourself, it can be a very solitary yeah. sort of thing. You know, it can be very. Um, yeah, I mean, it can get lonely or whatever, and and you and you can lose perspective, you can get tunnel vision, and you can have doubts about yourself. And, and all also, that working stuff. with people, as long as they're uh, not a yes man or woman, um, it can tell you if something sucks, if something's rubbish, if something's bad. Like yeah. If me and you are doing a collaboration together, I'm not scared to tell you if it sucks no. or if it's bad. But if you're doing it by yourself, you might not you might not realise that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that kind of neatly brings us on to like who to collaborate with, I suppose. Mm. Like you don't, you don't want to collaborate with people who are just going to make you feel good all the time. Yeah. I mean, me and you, we have back and forth and stuff all the time. We often disagree on stuff, but like generally we come out to a good outcome and we also, uh, like you said earlier, we bring different experiences and perspectives into the mix. I might say something and you might be like, oh, I didn't mm. consider that. Yeah. Or you might be like, well, I disagree with that for this reason. If we're just like, oh yeah, agree, 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 nothing will get done. It'd just be the same. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's why um, Freddie Mercury struggled a lot when he went solo because he was surrounded by so many yes men that everyone was just like, oh, that beat's amazing, this lyric's amazing. And when he was working with Queen, they had uh, the rest of the band, they'd be like, Freddie, that sucks, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> and if you come from a band that, that's more of a partnership, yeah, or a then... band that started when they all were yeah. like, from the same level, then they're, they're, gonna, they're not going to be afraid to tell each other yeah, what's good true. and what's not. True. So, yeah, I mean, I suppose it's like, it's good to have, you know, a collaboration where you're filling in gaps and they're filling in gaps. Yeah. And it's not just one-sided and it's not just because, you know, it's not, for example, just because like, oh, one feels sorry for the other or something like that. They just want to bring them up. It should be like a, a relatively balanced value exchange between Generally as well, what I think, well, what's useful is if you collaborate with people on your level or even better than you, then you kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. if they're better than you, you kind of step your game off as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. If you're kind of uh, holding people's hands and you're doing all the work, it's uh, the end product, whatever it is, music, art, video, it's probably not going to be as good as it could. And then there's also um, sharing audience. So mm -hmm. like, let's say that we're two artists and we have the same amount of following. Let's say arbitrarily, like you have 500 fans and I have 500 fans. Mm -hmm. Together we have a thousand different fans. They might, some of them might cross over, might already be fans of both of us. But um, we can cross promote, we can collaborate, like our brands get affiliated with each other. People, you know, people who weren't, people in your audience who weren't aware of me become aware of me and vice versa. So there's always that benefit of like sharing an audience and uh, yeah, building it from there. So I've had quite a few people ask me, how to collaborate, where to find these people. Okay, so first of all, how to collaborate, it, well, how to find someone is, you first of all find someone who needs you as much as you need them, mm. if not more, yeah. you know. Um, someone, someone that you can really solve a problem for and someone who you can make an impact on, you know, in a positive way. Not someone who would only just be good for you because they're not gonna collaborate with you if it's just you, leeching value of them, right? Yeah. Um, so go into the community and look at like who's, because you might, for example, you might happen to be good at graphic design as well as writing or something like that. So 
if you can offer to upgrade their branding as part of the collaboration, yeah. and then there's another value exchange in there, then that, then that's great. Like it doesn't. And that's a cool thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be music. Maybe they're just not good at organising their stuff, and you're like a really good project yeah, manager. Yeah, like in this day and age, if you want to be an artist or a musician, it's not. It's not just about the music. No, no, not at all. Of a field, you have to kind of exactly. Yeah. You know, and yeah, I mean, what matters is you give value to them. Or, I mean, you might be a really good cook. You know, they might be really, really bad at cooking. So you. That's the only so reason you, why you're here. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you definitely are the cook. It's the reason why I'm here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a Breaking Bad reference in there or something. I think. Anyway, let's skip that. Um, <laughs> Family-friendly so, YouTube. So, so um, like, the value doesn't have to be just music value. It could be any value. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else right now. But like, video production. Anything. Yeah, video production. That's great. Like. Um, Absolutely. But yeah, um, in terms of where to find them, obviously in person is great. Always, that's always worked. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of networking events. Uh, I go to quite a few different networking events, meet people in real life, rather than just over Conferences, there. Yeah, that sort of thing. Conferences, meetups. Yeah. Um, Meetup.com and if you want to do a free event, stuff like that. But online's great as well. I mean, yeah. we met online. We did. And, uh, you know, I mean, the way that was for us was we were both contributing to the same Facebook groups. Yeah. We were both contributing to the same Logic Pro groups, I think, at the time. And we kind of just like realized that, oh, cool, like maybe a collaboration between us would be good. I think I, I, think I just sent you a message saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to be in your neck of the woods, your area. Do you want to meet for a coffee? There you go. It's kind of it. It wasn't like, let's collaborate, let's do this. It's more just want to hang out. Mm. Because it's, it's quite rare to find people that are like-minded who are doing a similar kind of thing to you. So it's, it's yeah. cool to hang out, even if it's not to collaborate, just to hang out and kind of just be like nice and friendly and uh, chill like out with be people. Be a person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't kind of like, oh, let's collab, let's do this, let's do this, this. Do you want to collab, bro? Collab, bro. Yeah. Collab, bro. Collab, bro. And don't spam on Facebook groups. Yeah, yeah. And also like just DMing someone saying collab, bro. Yeah. That doesn't offer anyone any value yeah. at all. It's like, that just, if someone just sent that to me, like, oh, collab bro, it's just like, okay, what, what are you trying to leech from me? Like, that's, yeah. that's all that is. What are you offering? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. do you want? Yeah. Um, I was talking about this example on the train. Um, so, like, I run a podcast with a friend of mine for Unlock the Sound, and a guy who's a member of our community, like, in our Facebook group, he, like, basically just hit me up on the DM. He's like, hey, Chris, I uh, hope you're well. Really like the podcast. Um, I was just wondering because I'm trying to build up my audio portfolio that I could offer you like a free mix and edit of one of your podcasts and, and if you like it we can take it from there. I was like yeah that's great because it like costs Chris a lot of time to mix those podcasts. A lot of time. Like editing and mixing a podcast is a lot of work because sometimes it's three hours of audio. Yeah. You know and it's a big job and Chris is busy I'm busy and the guy just like offered to do it because he wants to build his portfolio. I was like yeah absolutely and then you know, if that goes well, I might pay him to, to do the rest. You yeah, know? It's, it's, it's not just about, like I said, it's not just about the music or the art form. I'll give you another little sneaky tip that I do. Uh, so I, I've got quite a few different cameras, like cameras and videos and stuff like that, as well as music. So uh, when I go to a conference or an event, I just make sure I take photos of all the speakers. I get good quality photos sitting in the front, and at the end, I'll like, oh, uh, talk to the speaker. I just uh, took a load of photos for you. Uh, I'll send you them over if you want. Not, yeah, trying to, not trying to take value, just saying... I'm that's just pure offering everyone, value. Everyone wants good quality photos, yeah, yeah. Side, especially if you're doing a tour, could throw it to fee or figure or whatever. So you just say, oh, I'll send them over, or uh, airdrop them, or email, whatever, and you send them over the photos. Not, you're not trying to collab or promote, just so they remember no. you. And if, they, if your name does pop up later on, but oh yeah, that guy was all right, he's yeah, doing yeah. those photos. Because now they think, next time that they think, oh, audio or music, yeah. they might think, just... He'll, you know, Thomas will be top of mind. Top of mind's yeah. like a good way to frame it. It's like, who do you think of first? I mean, like, when I was mostly just doing audio gigs, I was just getting gigs because I was top of mind. You know, because I posted or I, I, I met them for coffee or whatever. It's been friendly and nice and yeah, also yeah. knowledgeable. Yeah, and just top of yeah. mind. That's it. Like, you just want to be the person that they think of first. Chris, think for, of first. For YouTube. 
Funky Tip 101 for collabing. Oh. Funky Tip 101. Um, just be selfless, completely selfless about it, and don't be weird or, or like have massive expectations. Just offer value. And when I say offer value, it's not like offering mixing to a mix engineer is not offering value. You might yeah. think you're offering value, but you're not. Offering mixing to a producer or a songwriter or production to a songwriter, that's offering value. It's value only when it's value to them, not yeah. value in your brain. Yeah. That makes like sense. Like if someone said to me, I can, I don't know, mix the audio of one of your tutorials, I'd be like, I wouldn't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. But if it's something like photography or video scale, that can yeah, really like, help. If that can solve a problem for yeah. you, that's massive value to you. Cool. So these are kind of casual tips about collabing, collabro. Collabro. Collabro 101. You might put the title as Collabro 101. 101. All right. This is uh, Christopher Cavalier. If you want to check out some of the stuff, link in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to this channel as well. And yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.